Okay, I'm, my name is Nick Fiorenza. I'm the uh, Europe editor of Jane's uh, Defense Weekly, and we're uh, visiting uh, Fleur. I have uh, Arne Sharpe, who is uh, responsible for the uh, the Black Hornet uh, program. He's going to uh, tell us uh, something about it. Well, good morning, Nick. Uh, thank you for coming over. Uh, what I have here today is the latest version of the Black Hornet system, the Black Hornet 3, which we are launching now at Eurosat here in Paris. Uh, as you see here, many of the components here are still the same components as we have been using now for some years and we have delivered to many countries around the world. But one of the key new things now is the new helicopter. Uh, with a total uh, different design. Uh, it is based on a much more modular approach. It has a new suite of sensors and it has also increased capabilities. Uh, there is a whole range of them, but I would like to focus on a couple of them here and uh, one of them is a GPS denied capability, which uh, not only increases the system survivability, but also opens up for other types of operations than we have been doing before, uh, as an example, to be able to fly indoor, which is important for many potential customers out there. The, uh, uh, cameras are of uh, the latest generation so that also the quality of the video stream and the pictures which the operator will get here is significantly better than it was on the last generation. Uh, the whole system is uh, approximately the same weight as before but the air vehicle, the helicopters are uh, a little bit bigger but they still fit into the same base station as we have been using now for some years. So that means also that the base platform is the same. We were talking about um, some of the uh, customers. Uh, I, I guess Australia is, is uh, could be considered the first um, Black Hornet 3 customer? Yes, um, first of all, we have been selling the Black Hornet uh, system now to 30 plus nations throughout the world. And we are, of course, very honored to be able and be allowed to deliver this capability to the soldiers and the operators out there. Uh, but you're right, uh, Australia is absolutely a very, very important customer and they were one of the absolute first customers with this new generation, the Black Hornet 3. I would also like to mention here now that we have an initial contract. We were awarded a contract just recently with the US Army and their soldier-borne sensor program, which is an uh, incredible important milestone for us. And we are doing everything we can, of course, to support the US Army in their uh, endeavor.